In this class, we will learn what is the schedule parameter in a scheduled integration. First, I will create an integration over here. Click on create. Select the schedule integration. I will name this as text schedule parameter. Click on create. I will change the layout to horizontal. In order to create a schedule parameter, click on this schedule and click on edit. Here you will find an option to create scheduled parameters. As of now, there are no parameters created. Let me click on plus. Here I will create a variable with name last run time. Default value I will give NA as of now. Click on close. Click on save. Now I will again try to log a message over here with the last run time. I want this to be logged every time. Click on edit. Here if you see a variable will be created that is v last run time. This is the schedule parameter. So I will try to concatenate over here with the message last run time. So in the logger it will come as last run time and the value. Click on validate and close. Now in the first run the value will be NA. So in when this integration completes the run what we will do is we will try to assign when this integration was scheduled to this variable. In order to do that we have to click on this plus button. We have to select assign over here. Let me rename this as assign schedule parameter click on create here we have to click on plus from the drop down over here we have to select last run time that is the schedule parameter click on the value select start time and just toggle it over here click on validate close close when error is there it is because of tracking variable here i will add start time as first tracking variable last run time as a second tracking variable and click on save close now i will try to activate this integration integration got activated successfully now i will run this with the ad hoc request So when we try to run the integration with the ad hoc request, since there are scheduled parameters asking if you want to modify the value, default is NA, I won't change the value, I will directly click on submit. Go back to integration and open this test schedule parameter. Let me refresh. It has successfully completed the instance run. If you see, this is the primary tracking variable start time and this is the second tracking variable which we had assigned that is the last successful run time. If you see the value is NA in first run because our default value was NA. Even if you click on this view button, the log message will be last run time was NA. If you open this assign activity, if you see last time run was assigned with the last run of this integration. If you compare this with the primary value, it was run on 6th of April 2022 at 328 19 second. Now let me again run this integration. Now the last run time shouldn't come as NA. It should come as the last run time of the integration. That is this one. I will close this and refresh. This has successfully completed the instance run. Like if you see the last run time value, it is the run time of the previous instance of the integration. So if you compare these two integration runs are having a one minute difference. Okay, this was run at 3.28 and this is run at 3.29. But this last run time of the previous run was saved in a last run time, which was accessible in the latest run of the integration. 
So this will be helpful when we are trying to extract a report from Fusion ERP Cloud with the help of BIP. Then it will be helpful when was the last report was extracted. Based on that, in the next run from that particular tab onwards, we can pull the report. That is one of the use case wherein we can use the schedule parameter. That could be n number of possibilities where you can implement this feature.